VSA light. VSA is Vehicle Stability Assist. That's been in cars for a lot of years. If you have never had an opportunity to toy with your car to see what and how it operates, if we get some snow again and you find an empty parking lot and you're comfortable doing it, try to toy with it. Basically what happens is, if you're going straight and you turn your wheel, and many of us have been there, but the car keeps going straight, what will happen is, is it recognizes that off of what they call a yaw sensor in the car. It's very much like they use on airplanes. It's taking the steering input and saying, why are we not turning? And it'll start activating the analog brakes individually to each wheel to help get the car going back to its intended path. Now, the part is though, that when you experience that, you're gonna say, what in the world's going on with this car? Because it's gonna jerk, you're gonna feel a lot of kickback under the brake pedal because it's using the analog brakes to apply that to each wheel to get it going back to its intended path. But the first time it happens, it might catch you a little off guard and this is why we held these, is to let you know that it's doing exactly what it should be. Um, also with analog brakes. Again, analog brakes have been around for a long time. At some point, most of you have probably experienced how they function, but let me just give you a quick snippet. This is gonna sound strange, but analog brakes are actually designed to keep your wheels moving. Again, going back to that snow condition. If you did not have analog brakes, you get on the brakes, turn the wheel, what happens? The car keeps going straight. The analog brakes are designed to keep those wheels moving so that you can maintain steering control. But here's where it gets a little unnerving. You're coming up to a stop sign or a red light, you hit your brake and you're feeling all that kickback under the pedal and the car's not stopping because it's trying to keep the wheels moving so you can maintain the, the drivability of it. So the one thing that I've learned in my own cars is just be, when it's snowing outside, be a little bit lighter on the brake pedal. You know, give yourself a little bit more distance because otherwise you will find, if you run in that situation where you jam on the brakes because you're in a panic, you may find the car's not stopping because it literally is not stopping as you would expect it. So again, if we get some snow, toy with that in an empty parking lot, just so that way you're comfortable with it when it does engage.